What's going on, people? It's your boy Beast here, back up in the kitchen, back with a recipe that is sure to, you know, satisfy all taste buds. Uh, these are the ingredients. We're gonna make some honey sriracha stir fry, beef stir fry. You'll need, of course, the beef, pretty lean beef. It already comes sliced, so very convenient. Some sesame seeds. You need some nonstick cooking spray. I went with the olive oil version. A little bit of some white vinegar some honey of course the sriracha sauce and some frozen broccoli i'll explain why i go with the frozen broccoli in a little bit now as far as the honey goes if you want you could go ahead and get the sugar-free honey it's totally up to you it makes no difference you know as far as your macros go it makes a difference but as far as taste goes it doesn't make a difference at all all right so let's get started first thing we're gonna do is marinate the beef all right and all we're gonna add to this is the sriracha sauce the vinegar and the honey now some people out there don't like spicy food and I totally understand to each his own but the honey really mellows out the sriracha sauce completely it's a perfect balance of taste the perfect balance of flavor it's a sweet and spicy kind of deal going on you know it has a slight kick to it but also has a good sweetness to the taste to every bite go ahead and add as much as you want of the honey and of the sriracha depending on your taste and what you like but as far as the white vinegar goes only add a little bit I would say about three tablespoons worth and go ahead and mix it all up get your hands dirty make sure that everything is well mixed now you could go ahead and cover this or put it into the fridge you know and let it marinate for a while let it sit there maybe even overnight or if you're in a rush, you could just, as soon as you're done mixing it up, you could just pop it into a pan. That is exactly what I did. I wasted no time. I was hungry. And when you want to die, man, when you get hungry, you better eat. So uh, this is what we do. I know my pan has seen better days, eh, but it gets the job done. I'm going to get that cooking spray, spray or cooking spray on the pan. As you see the smoke coming up, that's because the pan is already preheated. I have it on high. After all, this is a stir fry. Go ahead and add that beef in there and begin to stir. Now, this recipe does not take long at all. Just begin to stir. All right, and in a matter of two to three minutes, you could go ahead and add the broccoli. And I'll get into why, you know, I like the broccoli frozen right now. Usually for stir fries, you know, they add soy sauce or they add other like a teriyaki sauce so you could build a nice sauce because, you know, a lot of most people serve it on top of rice. But what I do is I add the frozen broccoli because it's going to let off a lot of water and that mixing with the sriracha, the honey and the vinegar and whatever juices flow out the beef, that combines for a nice sauce in itself. And it's more on the healthy side, more on the low calorie side and definitely more on the low carb side feel me so that's why I do what I do as far as what the broccoli goes stir it in for a little bit cover it and just let it sit there for another two minutes and that's exactly what I did took the lid off and I'm just gonna stir it for a little bit take turn down the heat and just cover it once more after I finish stirring and just let it sit there you don't want the broccoli to be too soft you don't want the beef to be too overcooked. Now, some of you out there have different preference on how you eat your beef. You know, well done, medium rare, whatever. So keep that in mind while you're cooking. I went with well done with this. And even making it well done still only took, you know, a matter of minutes. I made this in less than 15 minutes. It took more time to set up my tripod and camera than it did to cook. And this is what it looks like. As you see, I added the sesame seeds on top. And it looks beautiful it tastes just as good as it looks guys a lot of you out there cutting this could be one of your favorite meals period add some rice to it if you're bulking or if you track your macros add you know whatever you know what you're doing way more than I do and that's that this is what it looks like thank you for watching don't forget to like the video share the video and comment down below y'all hold it down